All right, so I uh, figured it was probably about time to you know update this guy a little bit. This is the uh, the aquarium controller I built you know about six months ago. Um, everything on here has been running fine. You know you guys have seen the video before the update of this. So it's just kind of an extension. I don't really want to go through all of it. You know you still have the Arduino, um, the little board I built here with the real I added a real time clock in here. You guys can see here they use the I2C uh, protocol. That way uh, I don't have to use the millis function or the timer on the uh, the microcontroller, and also I can keep date and track and stuff like that. And I can also set times of the day and dates and stuff like that for lights, uh, which I'm going to use here in the next uh, little bit for this addition that I'm adding. You know, all these guys down here are still the same. They've been used. It's worked great. Um, I really haven't had any issues with it in the aquarium. It's just uh, it was time to add on. So right now, you know, all this stuff is just set up here to test everything, and. Uh, or breakout board. So what happened was I pretty much run out of inputs and outputs. These are about the only ones that I have left. And uh, I needed at least eight input and outputs for this relay module and auto water change system that I wanted to build and uh, kind of also an auto top off uh, override system and it's also going to control the metal halide lights. So we'll see how it all goes but I'm almost done you know, I got this board built here. It's got three little relays on it, and the two little black relays are going to control the uh, the pumps that are going to you know take water out of the tank and put water back in the tank for water changing. And then the blue one's going to be the override relay for the auto top off, so that way, when the whole system goes to shut down the main pump, and it starts dumping water out of the sump, that it just doesn't start dumping water you know fresh water into the sump, you know saying that you know hey it's low I need to put water in here. No, it'll stop putting fresh water in there, dump all the salt water out put fresh salt water back in, restart the main pump, well, once everything's stabilized, then it'll turn the auto top off back on, everything go back to normal until I want to do another water change. Um, so that's the way this worked. Right now it's set up, it's running a little program, it's just clicking this relay on and off. I was having some interference issues with uh, these two little lines right here. So these are the only two little lines that it takes to control these 16 inputs and outputs over here, which is quite awesome. Uh, it uses this little chip down here, I don't know if you can see it or not but it's a I2C expansion chip but uh... anyway so here's the little interface I built uh... kinda this light's gonna screw everything up anyway you can see right here so this outlet and this outlet are going to be the two for the two pumps and I think I actually have I got a mess over here my wife's not home so she's probably gonna kill me when she comes back so I bought these two little pumps uh... you know they're real little I think like 200 gallons per hour and then uh... So those will pump water out and pump water in. So what will happen is, you know, one will be out, one will be in, depending on how I program and everything like that. This guy down here is going to be for the uh, the auto top off. I also put a switch on here so that way I can just, do, you know, if I want to do something, I can just flip it off and it's not going to dump water in there if I'm doing something to the tank for like maintenance or something. This guy down here is going to be for the metal halides. Um, you can see I'm using some pretty heavy duty wire for that. Uh, I only run to 175 watt metal highlights because I got a 75 gallon display but these little relays are definitely not going to handle um, the metal highlights uh, they would probably just melt them so we got this guy this is a solid state relay there's no contactor in it or anything like that As you can see it says 480 volt to 75 amps I don't see anybody ever running that on this little guy uh, but it, I mean it says it will do it so all you got to do in order to connect this circuit is to apply 3 to 32 volt DC down here, um, which is quite easy because this thing's set up for 5 volt or 12 volt depending on how I want to do it. So I actually tested this guy last night to control this light that's blinking on and off right now, and it works quite great. There's no noise, no nothing. There's none of that clicking. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you can see it's working. It's running this little light right here. But, you know, I'm not doing anything. It's a mess down here. It's probably half a death trap. But, but yeah, that's that's part of my little expansion I've got going on. Also, if, you know, this thing is not connected to here, um, let's say something goes wrong with this, and what if I just want to dump out some water instead of me having to go into my controller and doing it all through there? I put this little switch in here. So you can see if I press this, it'll turn this outlet on as well. So I can press that on. And then also for this one, you know, when it goes back off here, see so I can also turn the light on. And it'll go back into its old program. But so I can also control it manually. 
It's also going to be automated. Uh, I can control it for uh, different things. Also, I had another idea. As I was doing all this, I'm just kind of ranting now. But, let's see. Uh, where'd it go? This little guy. I found this little guy on Adafruit. And it's a uh, 12 volt. Put 12 volt in and it opens a valve. And uh, part of me kind of wants to. Actually, here. You guys a little aquarium update. But, uh, not really much going on in there right now. All the big fish are kind of gone. I mean, it's kind of blurry for some reason. There we go. But anyway, sit down here. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Some dirty filter socks need to be cleaned. And we'll take that filter sock back in and be cleaned. So, what I was wanting to do is take one of those pumps and stick it down here in the skimmer area. So that way, because this is my largest area, that way when I shut my main pump off, so when the main pump shuts off, the water level usually rises up to about right here. So I figured that would be enough to where if I'm doing it over here, you know, I could do a gallon a day or I could do five gallons at a time uh, with no issues really. And uh, that'd be a pretty good water change if I'm doing that every you know, week or one to two weeks. But another part of me was thinking that I could just have a reservoir on the side of salt water and I've already got this float switch here for my auto top off and I could have my microcontroller read that and also what I could do is my main return line right here um, you know tap in like maybe right here put a T on there and put this guy on there and what would happen is even though the guy even though it's running everything could stay running um, it would kick this on it would dump out into another reservoir until it hit one of these little float valves and once it hit that um, it would tell the controller hey you know we're low we're in this process it's not it wouldn't be dumping in water but we could dump in new fresh salt water until we hit this instead of you know, fresh water and it kind of just change out a gallon of water a day and really as long as I keep the reservoir full I guess I would really not have to do any water changes but I don't know it's a uh, It's a project. Large torch coral. You can see that guy compared to my fist. Well, that's kind of a... But. Two anemones. Big guy split. Clowns level. Where's the other clown? There's another clown in here somewhere. They both hang out in the anemone. Sometimes they hang out. Oh, there he is. There's the female. And there's the male. They kind of hang out in the separate ones during the day, but then, you know, at night, they'll sleep in the same one. It's kind of weird. But, yep, coral. I really don't have a lot of fish in here. A little damsel. Firefish. There's a nitro trigger back there, but he's hiding. Let's see. Jacques the shrimp. War coral, bird's nest. These things I left on the frag rack too long because they're just uh, overflowing. I also have another colony of them there, and another colony of them there. I really like zoas, zoas, clam. This little guy, I don't know what's up with him. He doesn't. This end over here doesn't really want to open up too much, but he's been doing that for about a month or so. Uh, waving hand polyps, dragon eye, some more SPS. This, I love that mushroom back there. I have no idea what the thing is called, but uh, I love it. GSP, frog spawn. These little orange mushrooms. I wish, I wish the flame hawk. Uh, this little guy. He's kind of cool. But I wish the flame hawk would come out. I don't know where he is kind of hiding. That's what he does when I get close to the tank. I, I need to get rid of these mushrooms. They're just taking over. No. I will.